There's nothing to be learned in neurosurgery by assuming a, a, an accidental origin for the, the parts of the brain that we work on. It wasn't just biologists who were feeling the Darwinist wrath. When neurosurgeon Michael Egnor wrote an essay to high school students saying doctors didn't need to study evolution in order to practice medicine, the Darwinists were quick to try and exterminate this new threat. A lot of people on a lot of blogs called me um, unprintable names that were printed. <laughs> there are a lot of very, very nasty comments. Um, <clears throat> other people suggested that people call the university I work at and uh, suggested perhaps it's time for me to retire. I realized when I kind of went public with, with my doubts about the adequacy of Darwin's theory uh, that, uh, you know, that I would encounter criticism. Uh, what has uh, amazed me is the um, uh, viciousness and the, the sort of uh, baseness of it. I'm an old guy, I have uh, tenure, I'm academically safe, but the young people and what, what is happening to them in America right now because of this scientism gulag is, uh, is really terrible. Apparently, Professor March was not as safe as he thought. A few months after this interview, Baylor University shut down his research website and forced him to return grant money once they discovered a link between his work and intelligent design. In order to attract grants, you have to market yourself. So you put up sites and call yourself labs and groups and things like that in order to get visibility. And in my entire experience in academia, I never went to any superior and asked them any permission to put up any of these labs. So uh, the fact that this was singled out, let alone shut down, is jaw-dropping. It's astonishing. I have never been uh, treated like this in my about 30 years in academia. Shut up, you freak! I say shut up! It's a man! If you peel back the onion, I think that there is no doubt that the center of this is my work in what would some would call intelligent design.